Hello, my name is John O'Neill. Many of you will know me as I make biodiesel. But today I'm not going to be talking about biodiesel. I'm going to show you my new CP processor. CP stands for catalytic pyrolysis. And this is a method of turning waste plastic into kerosene. Uh, behind me, you can see here the machine that I'm going to be using. Uh, I'll show you what the parts, are, various parts of it are for and how it works. And you'll see some fuel being produced at the end of this video. Underneath all this insulation is a furnace and within that a retort. The steel retort is where the plastic is heated. It is heated by this kerosene burner. This is a typical kerosene burner that's used in home heating systems throughout Ireland. It's cheap, it's reliable and it's very economical. It allows me to use my own kerosene which is stored here in this small tank. Um, with this small tank I can monitor exactly how much I'm using each batch. The, the burner is controlled here um, with a master switch and a PID temperature controller which will keep the temperature within about 10 degrees uh, of the target temperature. Here you can see the reflux column. The reflux column contains the catalyst that cracks the fuel down into a liquid fuel. It then, the vapors then travel down this pipe to the condenser. The condenser is a water-cooled condenser and it turns the gases into a liquid fuel which is collected here uh, in this glass bottle. Any uncondensable gases then pass up through this high loop and then bubble through these two bubblers or scrubbers and then out to where they can either be vented or burned. Here is the plastic uh, that is used for the process. Uh, milk bottles, uh, old uh, fuel tanks, um, food containers, um, any kind of polyethylene and polypropylene. Doesn't have to be very clean, doesn't have to be very dry. Here you can see me filling the retort. The lid is now bolted onto the retort and the burner is turned on. The temperature now begins to rise. As you can see the retort is now at about 180. When it reaches 385 the vapors begin to boil and pass through the catalyst. And here we are, a sample of the finished fuel. Nice, clear, golden kerosene. 